Today, I'm excited to introduce everyone here to the next generation of AI infrastructure. We call it MAX. MAX stands for the Modular Accelerated Execution Platform. And it's composed of three core components. The engine and the Mojo programming language you're already familiar with, as well as a brand new serving module. Together, they represent an integrated, composable suite of products that simplify your AI infrastructure, enabling you to develop, deploy, and innovate faster. And Max is built from the ground up to support all your generative and traditional AI pipelines. But before we jump in, let's take another look at that diagram that Tim just showed us. To power your full inference pipeline from data to deployment, you have to use a crazy number of technologies and tools. However, with Max, you get one solution that works across all the components of your pipeline, enabling you to get rid of all those bespoke tools and utilize a single tool chain for all your inference needs. You'll be able to utilize the Max engine to do inference on fine-tuned models, Mojo to extend those models to support data transformations and novel algorithms, and Max serving to easily deploy those optimized models into any cloud service. Now, let's explore exactly what this means, starting by opening up the Max engine. Inside, you'll find Python, C, and Mojo APIs for integration into any application or server, simple and intuitive tools that enable you to benchmark, visualize, and profile your models, the, most, the world's most high-performance hardware kernels, a state-of-the-art compiler that unlocks generic fusions and other model optimizations, and a low overhead heterogeneous runtime. But how does this all benefit you? All this technology combines to make the Max Engine the fastest inference library on the planet. It executes all your models from all popular AI frameworks like PyTorch and TensorFlow out of the box. This includes full compatibility with all the framework operators, quantized types, and dynamic shapes. And it can even support all your existing custom operations. The Max Engine is up to five times faster than existing infrastructure, supports execution across all your CPU architectures, and is fully extensible via Mojo. And very importantly, it supports all the most popular Gen AI workloads, like Llama 2, Stable Diffusion, Whisper, and many others. But of course, this doesn't mean you have to further fragment your stack. Max also supports all your traditional AI use cases, like recommenders, image classification, object detection, and so much more. In addition to the Max engine, we also provide highly compatible serving infrastructure. Max serving is a simple set of APIs that natively integrate with your existing serving stack, making it easy to serve models with the Max engine. It provides drop-in compatibility with existing inference servers such as NVIDIA Triton, TF Serving, and TorchServe and integrates easily into any existing container orchestration services, such as Kubernetes. And of course, all this is powered by Mojo. So that's the modular accelerated execution platform, which gives you all the components you need to deploy low latency, high throughput inference pipelines into production. But why should you really care about Max? It goes without saying that AI, and in particular generative AI, is poised to transform the world that we live in. But there's a problem. One year ago, our good friend Sam Altman described the cost of running ChatGPT in production as eye-watering. And recently, OpenAI decided to limit the number of ChatGPT users due to enormous challenges scaling the model, the user experience, latency, capacity, and costs. Now, this is not to pick on OpenAI, which I think we can all agree is doing amazing, amazing work, but instead to point out that while everyone is enormously excited about Gen AI, what many don't realize is that it's extraordinarily difficult to scale. Even for the world's largest and most sophisticated companies with the best talent. So you might ask, why is this the case? Well, there are a few reasons. For one, Gen AI models and data transformations are massively compute intensive, making them difficult to deploy within latency and cost budgets. New Gen AI research innovations are being developed all the time, but it's incredibly challenging to extend the existing infrastructure to support those new use cases. So developers resort to adding new bespoke tools to their stack. 
Deploying the server is challenging enough with fragmented inference tools, but companies also want to bring Gen AI to everywhere their users are. That includes laptop, mobile, console, which is nearly impossible today. And it's difficult to find and hire talented AI engineers that are capable of piecing together a modern Gen AI serving stack with all these low-level technologies. But Max, Max changes everything, right? Max Engine provides unparalleled, out-of-the-box performance that unlocks positive Gen AI unit economics. Mojo makes it easy for users to extend their workloads, maximizing the performance of their data transformations, or adding novel research algorithms to their models. Max enables execution of models across a variety of server hardware and platforms to take advantage of cloud cost arbitrages or better utilize idle CPUs in a data center, and even deploys to edge devices. And of course, with Max, it all just works, enabling your engineering team to do more with less. So there you have it. All this represents Max, unified, simple, powerful AI developer infrastructure that enables any organization to actually bring generative AI to production, both economically and efficiently. And most importantly, it works with your data on your models inside your infrastructure in a secure and scalable fashion. Instead of taking control of your models away from your team, Max gives you and your development team superpowers. Now, who wants to see Max in action? <laughs> nice. To demo, I'd like to welcome Nick to the stage to show us just how powerful Max truly is. Thanks, Eric. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the power of the Max platform in today's AI workloads. These workloads are not just matrix multiplications or accelerated endpoints. They often require multiple models as well as complex pipelines before and after. We're going to keep with the Gen AI theme and use Stable Diffusion, a pipeline that generates images from text input. This is an example of what Stable Diffusion often looks like. It has a text encoder, UNet, and image decoder models, plus some text encoding and tokenization steps. This Python is typically written using multiple languages, including Python and C++. Now, Let's take a closer look and use the power of Max to make this project go fast. This Python code here generates images using the stable diffusion pipeline, including the pre-processing steps and the three models. Let's get started by using the Max Engine APIs. Max provides APIs for Python and C to meet your workload needs where they are. And here we are using the Python API. First, by importing the engine from the modular package, Next, creating an inference session to use with our models. And now we're going to replace the existing calls to the stable diffusion models with calls into the Max engine. These APIs allow this Python code to simply drop in and use the power of Max. Now let's run the script and see it work. Out of the box, the Max engine already provides accelerated workloads for this whole suite of models. By switching to Max, we're accelerating this pipeline by around 2x. And cool. Some generated AI. Awesome. But Max isn't just an acceleration endpoint. It brings a whole ecosystem to empower your engineering team. Now let's jump back into the demo, and I'll show you more. Here, we have ported the previous Python example into Mojo. This enables to power even more of our stable diffusion pipeline. And let's do that by accelerating our pre-processing steps. This file here contains a performant text tokenizer all written in Mojo. Often, pre-processing steps such as this require teams to manage bottlenecks in Python, introduce other languages, including C++ and Rust. Max and Mojo simplify and accelerate these workloads. Now that we're back in the pipeline file, we're going to import the tokenizer Then create an instance of it and point some vocabulary at it. And finally, let's just drop into our pipeline and let's see it in action. Here we are calling Mojo to run the whole suite, including our new pre-processing Mojo code. Ooh. 
Who doesn't love Gen AI? Now, we've empowered all of the stable diffusion pipeline using the Max Engine and Mojo. What else could we do? Let's step back for a minute. There's always new advances and techniques in AI and ML. Often using these techniques requires owning the full stack, working with vendor libraries, hacking on existing frameworks, and hand modifying models and kernels, all with custom toolings. For example, one of these techniques is taking advantage of lower bit precision, such as 4-bit math kernels. To even try a technique like 4-bit math, it takes ML engineers weeks to months to evaluate. This involves forking, hacking, and building most of the infrastructure stack to simply test and evaluate, and it often only works for one model. And this is because of the current fragmentation in the software stack, as Eric discussed earlier. Max changes this. It empowers you to just use them. Now let's jump back into our demo, and I want to show you this power in action. The bulk of the compute in our stable diffusion project is the UNET model. And we're going to modify this model to use 4-bit math kernels all with the Max Engine and Mojo. In this file, we have a Mojo kernel we've written with 4-bit math. It has all the language syntax features that allow us to do this. Now let's jump back into our Mojo program. We're going to instantly apply 4-bit acceleration to the UNET model. First, we need to point it at our new Mojo kernel package. Then, we're going to use the Max Engine APIs to load our new kernels for the UNET model. And for something fun, let's spice up our image prompt. Now let's see it work. The Max Engine has loaded and is executing our new 4-bit math kernels. All of this is done without rebuilding frameworks, multiple languages, working with upstream vendors, or managing complex tool chains. It all just happens in Max. Now let's zoom out and take a look at what our Gen AI stable diffusion pipeline looks like today. First, we drop Max in to accelerate the three models that make up the stable diffusion by using our engine APIs. Then we upgraded our pre-processing and tokenization logic with Mojo. And we took advantage of 4-bit acceleration techniques. And if you want to go all the way, you can even replace the Python outer loop with Mojo, getting Python out of production for good. Now, I'll throw it back to Tim. How awesome was that, right? Amazing. Max gives, thanks Nick, Max gives your developers AI superpowers. A single platform for all your use cases with fewer things that work better. It provides unparalleled performance across model and data. And of course, it all just works. The exciting thing about the Max platform is that it's designed to be modular, haha, <laughs> allowing you to mix and match individual features Nick just demoed, or using everything together as a single unified solution.